Okay. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night to some of you, according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland, Radio Biafra, here in Biafra land, anchored by me, myself, the fearless IPB evangelist, Maze Madap I am from Ndiabo, Ndiabo is in Anenri. Anenri is a local government in Ojiriba province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Namdekan is our leader. And he is still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement, illegally detained. And IPOB maintained their stand and unchangeable stand that Mazi Namdekano should be freed based on appeal court order, as simple as that. So that is what we are facing, and that's what we have presented. But they turned it as a blackmail against IPOB leadership, thinking it will favor them. When we are handling issue in IPOB, if you don't know what we are handling, don't just jump into a matter. Small time you'll be talking nonsense, as if you know what we are saying. Let me remind you on our stand on the Ejimako issue, nobody say he should not stand for Mazen Namdekano. He is not an IPOB lawyer. He's Mazenam can lead counsel. Then, he wasn't lead counsel then. He started doubling into IPOB issue. He was special counsel. Do not change the narrative. Do not change it. Some of you will jump into a matter you don't know. You start talking about it, Marco. Some other you start saying, hey, 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 we are this, we are this. Or that you don't know what we are saying. But if I age your first IPOB lead counsel, when the Mazinam can change lead counsel, Ejimako started leading. That's not when he started doubling the IPOB issue. He was doubling the IPOB issue as lead special counsel. As special counsel. We told him to trade on his lane. That's our stand. Nobody hated him. Nobody attacked him. We attacked his operations outside the Namdekano's knowledge. Here, that affects our struggle. The same thing we have told them about this case. They took their stand, we take our stand. How can you be standing for Mazen Namdekano? You neglect the stand of the um, organization he's leading, or his case. And some of you will come somehow this time. Uh, that, uh, if you go, uh, Mako is still his lawyer. Uh, don't talk about him. Get out from my, my face. You don't know what we are saying. Did we tell him to sack him? We said, Mako, trade on your name. Do your lawyer issue. That you are a lawyer does not make you a POB member. You don't start issuing memo. You, start, you don't start issuing press release. Issuing Nandekanu's message direct on your post. Demanding IPOB to do it. While Kanunta will be posting his own, Meme will be posting his own. Ejimako will be, um, e e e e e e will be posting his own. Thereby undermining the office of IPOB leadership. We said no, it doesn't happen. In IPOB code of conduct, there is no office of lawyer. In IPOB chain of command, there is no space for lawyer and there is no space for family. And we maintain that chain and we stand on it. And we said, Marco, face your duty and leave IPOB if you can, that your IPOB, um, you are not the kind of special counsel. Not lead counsel, not lead counsel before you change it. Special counsel does not give you the grant to be saying something that is against IPOB because Namdekan is not here. So you will expect us to overlook it because you are his special counsel. When we know that we have fought such thing in the presence of Namdekan, in his presence when he was here, we fought such battles. So you cannot throw it in or be trading on that lane. We caution you, you insisted, and you come up to defend it that what you are doing is right. We say no, it's against me. I know my stand in IPOB. 
You cannot come implicate IPOB that I'm a member to. Even when Namdekan is in detention, I will defend it. So some of you who don't know what we are saying must understand this. Nobody hated the family members also. We say, Kanonta, trade on your lane. You don't need to call off seat at home, even, even if the heaven is falling. If leadership refuse to call it off, it's not your business. Trade on your lane. Stop issuing memo. That's what we said. I will say it in the presence of Namde Kano. A unit coordinator is greater than, than Kanonta in giving order in IPOB. But can be honored as a family member of Namde Kano. But in IPOB, a unit member is greater than him in giving orders. I am now. I don't give order in IPOB. I'm not a, I'm not a coordinator. I was a coordinator. That's when I was giving order to the level I was. I was youth zone. I was local government. I was in a terrier financial secretary. I was in a terrier deputy senatorial coordinator. I was a Biafra land. I, not was. This one is still existence. This is Biafra land um, Twitter head after all. Right? Now, I don't give order. I, Radio Biafra broadcaster, they don't give order. That's why an infiltrator can come up and start talking something as if other broadcasters cannot say the same thing. But they abide under the law, the rules that guide them as radio Biafra broadcasters. They can, they can reply you in argument, but in order, they don't give order. They can direct you in a call, they don't give order. Same thing with IPOB lawyer, and the canon lawyer. You don't come and start issuing memo on the behalf of IPOB. Even if Nam the canon, you tell you, you tell him that let's send the message to them. Which all of you started to attend messages? Now, my topic, let me go to it because I know why I hit there. Some people are ignorant. If you don't know what you are saying, that is why if you see me in this struggle about Simon Ebrima, nobody told me. DOS didn't tell me. Nobody manipulates me. And I'm under command. Before you start talking about Simon, people have visited me in my office. Because of Unam I have told people how it will go. Immediately he was arrested, they came to me. To my office. The video run 300 and something thousand views. On Unam Deobi page. Unam Deobi Biafra Striker. That was that page. Right? I told them it's not a fast sometime. I told them everything you are seeing, I told them it will happen. That is why you can never see me come a broker and say, I am sorry. I say this. I don't do it because I know what I'm saying. Can if leadership give us message to preach, they don't tell you what to preach. They give you guidelines where it is heading to. The same thing, Radio Biafra broadcasters have been directed. There is a director of Radio Biafra. You must be under command in IPOB. It's no manipulation. That's why you see me analyzing a Berima because I knew it. Any, if you want to come contrary to IPOB, I know it. It doesn't matter the face you change to. I will confront you. So, if you see me talking about lawyer, talking about the case of an American, there is a band, there is a place we are arguing on. Today, but the stage of is IPOB lawyer. Do you ever see him come and they, they complicate issues of IPOB? I ask you. Then why do you see somebody who always complicate issues to your knowledge? You think is manipulation or somebody told you to. Did you not see his conversations? Did you not see his press releases? Did you not see it is contrary to what we are doing and what we have been enduring? Have we not endured such things? I ask. Then let me go to the topic. What is happening there now? Let us listen. Let us listen. If you don't know it, you listen and you get the point. This is a person we have been sharing his program. He crossed boundary. This is red line. People have been in position to cross this red line. We said no. So how come you want to cross it? Even when you are not IPOB member. They say, I allow him to fear our leader. Allow, I say, you are a fool. That the American is not here. I don't know where you cross boundary. As in what? Because I am just joined IPOB. 
I've been going to a meeting and contribute. It's a lie. It's not how I I joined IPOB. I was straight, I, I was taught IPOB. They taught me IPOB. Are you aware? I was taught IPOB. They teach me IPOB. Teach me IPOB. They sat me down and teach me. If you don't know, not just go into meeting so I can open page and broadcast. So I cannot be talking anyhow. And that is a grant. It's not a grant. There are bridges you can reach in IPB. There, is a, there are areas you cannot analyze in IPB. You don't, even if you have broadcasted for 15 years. Even if you have broadcasted for 20 years, okay, you cannot analyze it. If you try that place, you mess yourself up. You were not taught about it, Oga. Okay? That's why you can never say, ah, I, I, I apologize. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to apologize. Do I work under your... Do you know how many information with me that I don't broadcast? That some people broadcast. You broadcast is to stop it on, way, on the way. Is that an information? You deal with information with facts and still have facts next three days, next week to defend the upcoming because there will be matters arising. Not you just deal on an information they give you, you stop, and that's all. If you are again, I'm preaching. Don't cross boundary. You are a lawyer, you are this, you are that. It's not my business. Whether you are this, tomorrow you will still be the kind of lawyer in court. That is what is happening in court. And that will not make me to undermine your negative um, activities against the organization Namdi Kanu leads. Which I know you cannot tell him. Which I know you discuss case with him. Now let us go to the matter. And listen to Barry Sage Marco. Then let us compare to the blackmailing of IPOB. And see that the leadership is... Then who should be apologized to each other? Who? These people should apologize to leadership of IPOB. If you don't know issue, you should not come poor. If you like, you broadcast 30 years, it's not my business, so you don't know what we are doing. In a particular issue, in the issue of Ejimako, you don't know it. You just say, Nani Eko Ejimako, it's okay. Nobody says, sack him or remove him. The leadership said that is the right of Namdekan. That's simple. But we told you that anything you are discussing in DSS, Namdekan, uh, the DSS is aware. Now, imagine what IPOB leadership have been fighting. Now, if the lawyers can be openly come out and tell you that the DSS, the government is with everything they are discussing with Namde Kano, on his case, now imagine what leadership is facing. On what they have te discussed with Namde Kano concerning IPOB. You don't know that the thing they discussed with Namde Kano concerning IPOB, that is what they operate with. The DSS keep using it to give him agenda. Now, we defend the IPOB. The leadership used their brain to defend the IPOB. Now, look at them trying to defend their own case. And you expected IPOB to abandon our own duty in defending IPOB. The lawyers now is not defending their duty, their job. Saying that the DSS is not safe. And the IPOB said that the DSS is not safe to present IPOB matters. That the, the government is using it against us. Did we not tell the family? Did we not tell the lawyers? Then why are, do they want us to allow them to be rubbishing IPOB activities before DSS? And they use it against us. And they now, now they don't want to discuss Namdekano's matter with him. Because DSS will be aware. What about our matter they discuss with DSS? They use it against us. Now you understand how we operate. Now you, the leadership has been vindicated. That they are on the fence in some areas. Things that these family members took to Nam Kano, that DSS is using against us. That things the lawyers took to Nam Kano concerning IPOB, that the DSS government is using it against us. And some of it, hey, well, I leave the lawyer now, Nam Kano. We said, don't take such matter to Nam Kano. That place is not safe. Today, in Abazoso, from DSS, uh, it's not safe for my client to prepare for trial. But it is safe to present to come back my DOS. It is safe 
to go and diplomate a Ebrima that he should be given slot. It is safe to go and tell him Namdi Khan that Ebrima is doing well. It is safe. It is safe to be implicating Namdi Khan with Ebrima. It is safe. And only feeling I am a idiot. Okay? These are videos from Nasi. You say, when I'm the kind of you negotiate, come on, I'm here. I can hack with them. I'm not going to say, no, we them. If you don't know, you know it. I want to hear my Udi, 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 can happy if you know what brain came and I confuse you. You know, Kate Jabatana issue. Any matter, eh, look at the Ricago get happier. Don't start to attend the matter because there are people who understand the matter, they are still on it. If you cannot analyze the issue of Nam Kanu's case concerning Ejmako or their lead council, and you thought that there are IPOB or we have been wrong in addressing his matters, or guy, you shut up, don't talk about it. Because you don't understand it. You were blackmailing them. And you have to stop. Because you don't need to blackmail. We say reality. What I present here is reality. I present argument. Facts. That in Namdekano, Ejimako uh, meet with you, is in Namdekano's lead council. They will, you will still appear on video. Meaning what to me? Appear on video while he is there causing defense for IPOB. Have you ever seen a Jamaica defending IPOB? Have you ever? Show me what press release. And when we know you cannot do it, we tell you, stop talking about us, you don't know about it. When you cannot communicate with the leadership to tell you how to guide the, the organization, you are defending their leader. Even when you are special counsel, you are there trying to bring memo. Only do say change Abraham. Onion do say change this person. Onion do say uh, uh, the USA is untouchable. Onion do say, and this memo was copied to Mass Ticket. Does it not copy to you? Not copy to Canon Town. Canon Town publish it. It was not copied to Meme. It was Meme who publish it. And that is an honorable message from Namdi Kano. And that is how some of you reason. That the memo will be copied to somebody, and somebody it was not copied to will publish it on his platform. And be threatening people, and you now want me to validate the message. You must be insane. Listen to this very press release, then you judge yourself because I will not dwell much in this program. Any with other programs today on, sec on, in sec on artificial insecurity in our land. The lack of the knowledge, in origin, you see, get the key. From others, you will take it, you join again. I force no way to make mistake. If the case of Unam the Kano and the activities of Edge Mako or what we are saying about him, it will go to the point you don't understand it again, you cool down. Stop addressing matter. If you don't know our stand on matters, you don't know our stand on um, siblings. Because nobody sent you to blackmail anybody. We stand on truth. We tell people their boundaries in IPOB. Simple. If you like, you can sleep with them in DSS. Giving water to bath. You come back with that influence to operate on a red line in IPOB. I said, you know what, Shoga? It's a lie. And it doesn't change. Good to get there. Can happy each and all get change it tomorrow. IPOB kuchari hiyo na ju, oya ono wa nikuzi na oya listen. Instead of ibi ya kiliwani, ikiaga na ya ase, hey Edwaka, you see that pia in video. Ever we chipo ya wange ma pia ya na namde kano, we si namde kano choa. You should hold them by their words, not hear the blackmail like oya kano jim, kano taja guego, kano. Hey, they don't want namde kano to go to trial because they don't want him to be freed. It's my car there again. Those of you who don't want my Nandi Kano to stand trial, uh, they don't want his freedom. Mbakai Mazenia try his freedom now. Who is being vindicated? Who is being vindicated? He had lost confidence in the court where he was being tried. The DSS listens to our conversations. 
these things led to an extraordinary... The DSS listened to our conversation. What did the Martinez and Woru said? The DSS listened to your conversations. So what, why, why was the blackmailing? Why was the blackmailing? They said, they listened to your conversation. Why are you saying it now? Because it concerns case. But what we told you concern IPOP. What you are discussing with him, the government is using against IPOB. And this IPOB was handed over to people to manage. And you want them to allow you, because you are special counsel, then to damage what was handed over to them. You destroy it with the name you are defending Kano. And some people who don't understand what we are saying, they will come and say, hey, 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 he's still a name Kano lawyer. Meaning what? And give me a Then I will abandon what was handed over to us. Then because you go and visit in America and come back. Or you appear in camera. If you don't know what we are doing, she knows your poor. We are here in America. We are here in America. We are here You must not understand it. Also, the broadcast 20 years. You must not jump in every matter. That's why we have information we cannot treat. I'm happy. I'm going to get here in a treat. I'm going to get here in a treat. I'm going On the three, three, I will break your go. The information I go. Life and the way defense again. In Kobla Kano Web 3, only defense. That's why I know they careful. Listen, though, then you know if DOS have not, this, if this is not our stand, then you judge us. Let me go back had less confidence in the court where he was being tried. The DSS listens to our conversations. These things led to an extraordinary court order by the former Federal High Court judge handed in this case that we be provided a clean room free from secret listening devices in order to be effective in preparing him for trial confidentially. That clean room was not provided, and the DSS continues to interdict our documents each time we go there. A defendant is entitled as a constitutional right. Don't worry, I'm not saying can I get a constitutional right. Have you gotten the point? <laughs> they listen to their conversation. Then, in my earlier analysis in our case, in the case of Walid, I said, some other things Nigerian government allowed before 2015, 2016, 2017, they saw it as a mistake. They doubled everything. They, they, they not even double. They multiply everything now and make it stronger in this case. Why IPOB is following Namdekano is to vindicate Namdekano in his stand. And also to vindicate IPOB in their campaign that Nigeria is not meant for people to live. And this is a means of exposing Nigeria. Now, we stood with our leader until he defeated Nigeria. Nigeria started saying, no, 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 no. no. We, another lawyers, another lawyers took over. We called them and said, see our stand. This man leads us. He leads us. This is our stand. Tell him our stand. Do you understand? They started using our stand to blackmail us. Why do we make such stand? Nigeria can never allow Namdekano to go to Kuche or any prison facility. It is in my broadcast 2021. They will not allow him. It is in my broadcast in 2022. I said they said no. They said no. Namdekano treat matters in detention. None they cannot handle matters in detention. They want to be hearing those gossip from the family. They want to be using it against IPOB. They don't want things to be normal. They are angry that IPOB leadership now understood the matter and kept and hold IPOB, secured IPOB and save IPOB and keep it safe. Very simple. That was when DSS was disappointed. IPOB now understood they want to dam damage IPOB with the information of the discussion coming in DSS. They now secured IPOB. The way of 
Mazen nam de kanu treat matters in kuje. Mazen nam de kanu make this, this, uh, decisions in kuje. That is to say, that thing they want to stop him from leading IPOB. They did not achieve it. This time around, they will allow him to be in DSS. They will not allow him, they will never allow you any court order to move him to Kuje. If they move him to Kuje, it, it is better they leave him to go on the bed court order. Instead of Nigeria to allow Namdekan to be in Kuje, they better obey court order. I said this in 2022. They will not allow him. They saw it as a mistake. If the British can deny Namdekan his consular assistant, then Nigeria have prepared Nigeria prepared very well to go against international law. And you must follow IPOB because they have intel around the world. They will tell you where the government is heading to. They also have their personal reasoning, that is their reasoning. And they also have a way of doing things in IPOB. And when they bring these things together, they will go to the table. They will compare it with what Namdekanu left for them on the table. Right? They will know the best decision to make. Based on their decision makings for long ago. You see? We told you this is our stand. Now we we took we assist we follow him to court because Nigeria wants to run away from court. The only hope of Nigeria is Nigerian army. Nigeria never prepare. To battle within them, they can't in court. They were only trying to use the court to deceive the world because they said they are democracy and then the can is fighting under self determination. So you must take him to court. But their hope is the army. That's why the army have been killing. That is why the army is the chief propagandist against IPOB. The army is the chief blackmailer again of IPOB and then the Khan and the ESN. Since the Khan was kidnapped. Now the army was the champion of on them. Um, uh, what is it called? Um, Python dance. The army was the people who prescribed IPOB after meeting with the governors in Enugu. Immediately they went and announced their own. Obi and the governors announced their own. The army. The army advised the governors to form a Bubago. The army of Nigeria recruited the Bubago members. The army of Nigeria also brought the Kobo. Are you aware? The army is the people lead, guiding the Berima. Taking his crimes against IPOB. That is to say, the army is the people also presenting IPO, um, the crimes of a to international body as IPOB activities. That is to say, Nigeria hoped on their army. The army was carrying on extrajudicial killings, excessive force of IPOB family members on protest, kidnapping killings, Obibo massacre, Olo massacre. All this massacring of IPOB was to show that Nigeria was not ready, was ne never ready to confront us in court because they know they cannot defeat us. So they gave the job to the army and the army have disappointed them. We told them that this case Nigeria don't want, they knew there is nothing. I have finished this case before. I have, though they are lawyers, I have, I have analysis that where I have destroyed this case and ended it. Completely different analysis from day one. But I am not a lawyer now. But I have sense, after all. I'm a human being, I have sense. If they can come back and say the DSS is listening to their conversation, then between them and DOS, who should they apologize to each other? Why do they blackmail us with that? Why do they say we are against trial? Why do they say we are against his freedom? Sorry, with his release. Yes, we are against the trial. Why do they say we are against his release? For saying no. Because he cannot be safely stand trial. It is just like secret trial, the same. Because you will discuss with him, the government will have it. Now, do you see why we say don't take IPOB matters? Stop gossiping with the name of IPOB or DOS anybody. In the presence of Namdekano, the DSS use it to feed the infiltrator and tell them the next step to take. This was our stand. Now they are complaining. It is affecting their case. But when it was affecting IPOB, the people that are in charge of IPOB was complaining that you are harming us. You are fighting against what was handed over to us. Though you are lawyer to our leader. But IPOB is, in, we are, is under our, um, uh, our care. Now, 
Then why must you use your job to free Namdekano and be going against the organization Namdekano is leading? Is that how to do something? I went, that's what our, we stand. Edge Marco, your activities and disciplines activities is implicating IPOP. The enemies is getting the intel. Stop these things. That's our stand. Then again, Namdekano cannot get trial in a court of people who disobey court order. What do you expect there? You are now one team. Where are you heading to? He should be transferred to Okuje. You need a safe room. Who provides a safe room? Order from the judge. A safe room. The same DSS. You bring a safe room. Just imagine. So, what are you dragging? As in Namdeka, no knows the sin and die. That's what we asked them to do before. Allow the case of this man without death of court. Leave it without death of court. Pressure will come from international community. That's what we said earlier. Allow him to be seen and die. S-E-E-N. Without trial. Band over. Let him be band over. There. Let him be band over. Then let us pressure them in the normal way of freedom fighting. Yes, you are creating chance for death of court. You are giving them defensive stand in replying international community when they ask them what is keeping them. They will tell you he says he is trial. The same thing happens to somebody in, uh, in detention, uh, in prison yard. When release comes from chief judge or the governor or federal release, hence your case is on trial in court. Hence you, there is a date of court at the back of your warrant. They will tell you to go back. They are after people that are not going to court. Ban over. That's the people they will release. People without trial. The same thing with the international community on this. If Namdekano is without trial, no date of court, the pressure will be asking, what is keeping him? That's what we said. Then we will now do the uh, freedom fighting. Your duty now is to be filing application here filing application here file, have you seen them the kind of lawyer file application and say this is what ipob said or refer to ipob press release have you seen it marker refer anything to ipob press release how do you defend them the kind of, you never refer any of your argument to ipob press release Or you undermine us. Does it mean that what we are doing is not in line? Can you defend Namdekano if we, if we implicate him? Can any lawyer defend Namdekano if IPOB take, go against what we stand on? If we pick up arms, can you stand, defend Kano? We are the road clear. We are the people clearing road for lawyers. Any victory you get created by IPOB, to, to jail and the is in our hand. We go contrary to what we discuss. The government will not have... Even you cannot defend him, you will see evidences. That is why when some people are hey, here, so they say you are a fool. If they go contrary, and the will be jailed. You, 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 you will not do nothing. He won't you. you. If IPOB took their stand, the killer Achara lawyers also, the lawyer gonna amaliyelu as if they are anything. Who is the lawyer? When we try, when we implicate the issue, who are you? Which lawyer? You will lawyer you? If the, the organization Namdekan is leading, try to go contrary to self determination. Who are you? A warsaw? A baseball saw? What are you standing? A warsaw? Can you not be defended? A baseball saw? I am so chosen. Are we not the road clearer? Are you an assumption? If we go contrary, also, even you cannot visit in Namdekan. Terrorist leader does not have lawyer. Does terrorist have lawyer? No. So if we make in Namdekan a terrorist through our action, will you still defend him? Then why are you undermining us? Why? Did you understand? Whenever I am a man, I am a high name. 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 I am a high name
Agwala mde mada halu gido gwa ronebe na amage kulo down. People will give you key to key in. Madli le kanon. Onwe mbae ganon na stage onwe nde gama. There are people that will give you key. I key ye in. I pido kwa. But an argument came and we can go. What argument can you for long? I, we have not started the war. But Nigeria don't want to argue. They prepare people they will use to blackmail us. They don't want to argue. That is why you can never see Nigeria present the activities of ESM. Because they cannot defeat us in that. But uh, they choose to present the activities of criminal. To replace the ESN activities. They will not ever, they can never publish ESN that is confronting Flanny Cows. Then you ask yourself, why is it that it doesn't take them five minutes to tag ESN and IPOB the activities of Simon Eberma criminal? Why is it that it doesn't take them five minutes to publish it? But IPOB will be flying ESN videos where they are confronting Flanny Hesmen, flying it on media, trending on media, both on Twitter. Nigerian media can never publish it. Because it will destroy their blackmailing. So they want to exchange the legitimate duty of ESN with the crimes of criminals they recruited. Now you know. Now tell me what is government agent. If you can be doing, they'll be tagging me your crime. And they will neglect my own doings. They will not publish my own doings. But they choose tagging, you, tagging me your doings. Then who are you? ESN will carry on their duties against Lani Hesman cows. And the IPOB will publish it. And Nigeria will ignore it. They will now look for Simon Ebirima crime and target ESN. Then what do you see? What do you think? What do you think in such action? What is government agent? Tell me. Because the person is shouting Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. But the activities is used against me. They ignore my activities. Do you see them publish that IPOB is protesting in UK? Do you see them publish that IPOB is protesting in the, or IPOB meet in Germany? Or IPOB protesting. Do you see? Why can't they publish it? Do you see them publishing that the ESN is killing Flanny cows? No. Why can't they publish it? Because it is a glory to IPOB and ESN for volunteering, for having a volunteer, not even an army that have the courage to fight a global fight. That is a fight against terrorism. It's a goal. Nigeria don't want the world to recognize IPOB who have the mind without seeking from any world government to help them in fight terrorism in their land. They took it upon themselves to fight against terrorists that Nigerian state compromised to. Do you know what it means? If Nigeria publish it, what do they want to exchange the killings of cows with? Do you know when they want to, they were calling cows human beings? Do you know when the North was calling cows human beings in the East? Did you not hear me, Etiala, and Northern governors? ESN is killing Northerners in the Southeast. I gave them a broadcast. Oga, don't turn cows to human beings. Tell the world that ESN is killing Fulani cows. They ran away from that argument. They ran away. Cows are not human beings. Hey, why is the IPOB is killing Northerners in the Southeast? We said lie. Publish ESN activity. Tell the world that ESN is fighting terrorists and see what will happen to you. You will see that the world will lift ESN high. You will see that the world will now recognize IPOB as never before. But you run away from it. You choose to replace it with the crimes of criminals. This is our stand. And we say no to that. Publish ESN activities. If you see us trying to counter it, then you know that we are, we are fools. How can we counter legitimate duty of ESN? We ourselves posted the video. When we post it, hey, why are you posting it? It is a counter. You cannot be talking ESN. You will not publish their duty. You must publish evidence of their duty. Instead, if you don't do it, the government will cover their duties with their own blackmail. So you must have evidences of the activities of ESN, as we always do. Not all their job. This one we just to publish is just to show them some things. Right? So what are we arguing here is that 
every stand of IPOP is what Barrister Aloy Jimako, Mazinam the Canon Lead Council, is saying here. And we now say, why do they use it as an avenue to blackmail the leadership of IPOP? Why? Why do they say that we are against Namdekanu's freedom? The family members said it. Canon has said it. They're against his trial. They don't want him to be free. Then why are you against his trial now, lawyer? Until, until what? But for now, you're against the trial. Namdekanu is against the trial, isn't it? The wife is against the trial, isn't it? Right? You yourself, you are a lawyer. You cannot take IPOB stand. You will always like act like a lawyer. You, you must create an avenue. You say, my, lawyer, my client will stand trial if so certain is provided. That is what you will do. <laughs> but IPOB say you will not stand trial. They must obey court order first. These are two things that should be working together. But you will ignore the other one. This is the side the force will come from. IPOB. It's a pressure. You are a voice, you are a lawyer. You are using Nigerian constitution to confront them, an international constitution, isn't it? Then they cannot, they cannot stand the IPOB pressure. It will be a help to you in your confrontation. But you are undermined us. Had it been that this is your, your what concerns you, if not Namdi Khan is the, our leader, and he is the also road with our freedom. I happen here, of course, we implicate Ghana in time, a boss. You can't balance all the end on a contract. IPOB will implicate Ghana, not you. You won't know. That's why you hear no name. I a post to the leadership of who president is IPOB. Can't ask him how to blame them. If you see that our stand, Nigeria fired it. That stand of IPOB that we believe we stand on court order. If you are an organization, that's where you hook. The lawyers are free to be going to court, but you must have a stand. That is what is called organization. What will you present to the world? This is what we have. So you'll be doing your own. You do not come and blackmail us because we took our stand. It is freedom fighting. We must take our stand. Then you'll be using the constitution to confront Nigeria. We must not be following you. We must hold our own. The pressure side is obey a big court order. On your own is obey Supreme Court order. Reinstall his trial. Do you understand? Uh, sorry. Um, what is um, his bail? You revoke his bail. Return it back. You'll be dragging it. You do not come and say IPOB should wait and stop, start following you to trial. And some people are ignorant of our stand. If organizations like IPOB have nothing they are holding in Namdekanu's case to confront Nigeria internationally, we just follow lawyer, they go. Anything lawyer decide, we go. Then if you want us to dance like that, you're a fool. You are a complete fool. We are the road clearer. We'll be clearing road for lawyer. We are the people that to maintain Namdekanu's statue, both local and international statue. By maintaining IPOB stand, thereby we clear road for Kano. We are the people that make him the Kano innocent in his absence. He had been innocent before he was kidnapped. But in his absence, the government wanted to make him to be guilty. But IPOB leadership defended that those blackmail every claim. Then we are the people that still make him innocent today. We are the people that gave the lawyers grant to defend. It is in our hand. So why do people who think they know freedom fighting think that IPOB was following Namde Kano on trial without having a target? We know they will disobey court order. But we are telling our people to cool down, let Nigeria disobey. It will become our weapon. Why the lawyers are free to be moving? Do you understand? You don't undermine our stand. The government will not take you serious. Any lawyer that undermines IPOB stand, the government, the Nigerian court will not take you serious because you are nothing to them. The people they are afraid of is the organization and the candidates. You are nothing. So, why do you separate the IPOB stand? You took it as a blackmail. Hey, they don't want them they can, to be free. They don't want him to be free because we say they cannot, they must obey court order. It is a, in a way by Gajanuku. 
you cannot leave them without pressure. That is not just a pressure. Your, our right is to obey court order, appeal court order. Your right is to be confronting government. But what you, legal team, and the family did was to cut off IPOB stand. And that's when government saw them as useless people. Useless! Not what I see you as. I did not see the family members or lawyers or team of Namdekan as useless people. I said, that's when federal government begin to see you as. Because the main key is IPOB. Namdekan is in detention because he formed the IPOB. They say it's illegal organization. That is their problem. An organization that government of Nigeria cannot control. Immediately, you are Namdekan's legal team. You listen to siblings and cut off the stand of IPOB. Then they will see you as not. They will see you as useless person. They will see you, not me, you. <laughs> not we. Even I don't know our lawyer now. Uh -huh. Okay, now I got a bit naga. See, thank you very much. See, thank you very much. Some of them don't even know. Now, you know, they can only treat the case. I am not a local and I'm not a judge. We know how he handles matters or guy. I am a judge. A judge in Morocco. Direct an adjudic in Morocco. Oh, my God. So that's what we are saying. You cannot defeat Nigeria with only my Lord, my Lord. You must come, you must push it with IPOB stand. If IPOB did not make a stand, our guy will have nothing to present. If Nigeria eventually, let me just say, lawyer fell, and then Amnikano was convicted, do you know the only defense he has is IPOB earlier stand? These are things, at times, we don't <laughs> want to tell some people. See, let me tell you, there's nothing you will use to fight Nigeria. What is your reason to shoot gun? That they jail them, they can. It is not a reason. You can only use the reason that they do not obey their court order. So you are not going to obey this one. If they say they're convicting them, they can. IPOB elites will say no. And they'll ask them why. They said... Earlier court order is what we stand. The lawyer cannot say so. The lawyer is not an organization. The lawyer is not the leader of organization. Their case ends in court. But IPOB can extend it to any level. We cannot be shooting gun if we want to shoot gun. Just that Nigeria convicted can No, we will only shoot gun because they did not obey court order. So we are not obeying that one. Do you understand? But if you just believe in lawyer, hey, we are going in order so that people will not say you are within Namdekan. Who told you we leave him? Oga, taking a stand. The only people that is against the stand, the, the only people that is um, <laughs> not uh, trying to, is not allowing you to know the stand of IPOB is the lawyer. Have they combined it together? <laughs> you will see the force. But thank God IPOB have secured the force already waiting. And Nigeria knew that any mistake that IPOB can take any, because IPOB have been provoked. Do you understand? So, will you now say, I, I, we are angry because of what the lawyer is doing? No. We are angry because Nigeria have not obeyed court order that free Nam Dekanu. So, why do they obey this one? That is contrary. It is a very simple argument that can lead to shooting gun. Without any blame. And you free him by force. But uh, as an organization, we don't have any stand. We are just following lawyer. Uh, our leader is, so you are, you are expecting IPOB uh, to be following Namdekan with his argument. And the Nigerian government. Don't you know Namdekan is arguing with Nigeria? Uh, do you think that thing lawyer is doing is just, did you not see Namdekan when lawyer is presenting lawyer, his duty, when Namdekano wants to present Biafra to federal government, he will come into the case. So do you think that because the lawyer is uh, incompetent, that's why Namdekano was talking, no, he's not incompetent. They are doing the job he gave to them, right? They are competent on that. But Namdekano know that your 
you have finished your job. You say you are now moving for adjournment, isn't it? Then he need to present his matter, which is that thing, why he is here. Do you understand? That's why he, from there he said, you are biased. You are this, you are that to this case. You are working on the favor of the government. So you should leave this case. That is the argument. That is the Biafra. The thing Nam the Kano did to Binta is what IPOB leadership is doing to Nigerian government. If you don't do this, do this. We don't we don't agree. This is the same thing Nam the Kano did in court. If you cannot do this, that the Supreme Court said, please leave this case. The same thing IPOB is presenting to the world. If Nigeria cannot obey court order of their appeal, they should and, sorry, Nigeria must obey the court order of the appeal. That free Nam the Kano. We don't agree in any trial. That is IPOB presentation. So you should not use it as a blackmail type IPOB because there must be a confrontation weapon secured by the organization. We cannot be dancing, uh, following lawyer to go to court or uh, watching Namdekanu video. Is that where it will end? So don't you know what Namdekanu is doing is what he should do? What about the one IPOB should do? Then why must you undermine the one you must attach to your own job? The one IPOB gave to you. Our stand. Appeal court. Not other one we are giving to the world. This is just the one we gave you. Attach it to your work. We stand on appeal court order. Attach it. We did not say stop. Attach it. Make sure you don't separate it. That is the pressure side. That is the first side. Your own is not a pressure. You only go and interpret. You go and read the constitution. The judge will interpret it. That's all. You have no pressure. IPOB is the pressure. Then why do you, as a lawyer or legal team, try to undermine the pressure side? That's what we are saying. Go on each and I am my high name. Kitchen I am a black male man. Come look at him, be a lawyer, and I'm the kind of now going. Oh, God. But you know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm complete. You know, I'm going to be cross. Yeah, okay. That's in the email. You know, they make you sustain that I'm going to be a people. So you cannot do it. I'm going to now. Okay, because someone when you relate to it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Do you understand? So this message is just um, <laughs> to tell you that IPOB is vindicated. Now, if any time I take the stand, you hold on it. Our stand is their stand. Or you are listening to it before we round up, in case you are joining. Our stand for long is what they are making now. That here, I will run. Oga, I just lay with this thing soon. I got our leader because uh, in the name of IPOB or DOS is doing. The government is using it to give Simon Ebrima the new agenda. The DSS is hearing what you are telling him. And they are using it against him. That's why they don't want him to go to Kuche. Because when he was Kuche, he was treating the matter in Iguata. He will invite them to come. He treated the matter in Aba. He will invite them to come. He will treat the matter in Oanambra. He will invite them to come. He will discuss with them. Everybody can visit him by filing, filling application to the prison warders. That's all. No much protocols. If you take it to him, he approves it. Then you, are com you come in. To visit. So he was leading IPOB from there. Nigeria did not see it as a detention. This time around, they want to be at, they, they want to have few people that will be visiting him, that will be visiting him, and they want to capture every discussion. That's why he's there. They want to be working against him and the people he's leading with discussion. We said, avoid this kind of discussion, avoid this, avoid this. They are capturing it and they are feeding it to the infiltrator they contracted to be using it against us. You see them boasting. You don't know it's a smart thing you can discuss with Kano. They, they finalized on it. They gave it to the criminal. He'll be jumping up. We say, stop it today now. It is affecting your case and you are lamenting. Then let us see. Listen to it. You see, it is affecting their case. Chineke, mire, mire. In here, I'm not able to broadcast every day. On our plan, not easy. On the quiz, one on a news one subu, not easy. But we'll continue. Let us listen. To the adequate facility. No. To conduct. Had lost confidence in the court where he was being tried. 
the DSS listens to our conversations. Simple. These things led to an extraordinary court order by the former Federal High Court Judge Handley in this case that we be provided a clean room free from secret listening devices Impossible. in order to be effective Impossible. in preparing him for trial confidentially. Now, when Namdekano took that standard, Bintashu, hands off, do you know IPOB got the signal? He's now dragging with federal government. Do you know what it means? <laughs> we that is doing freedom fighting knows where he's dancing to. Him and honor, I may hear left time by time. He don't just, he don't do it without reason. And he know that you will capture it. You will be applying your own. And the more he's moving, we know where the war is going to. Why the lawyers are doing their own. You don't expect us to dance in the same tune with the lawyers. If we dance in the same tune with the lawyers, then the government is in charge of the case. The IPOB can never dance in the same tune with the lawyers. If that is your mind, you fail. That means the government is in charge. We must be contrary to. We must be, at least, we must be like negative to federal government. We should be the negative side. Negative side. That is the pressure side. Now we know where Namdekani is heading, though he's now dragging <laughs> for that is freedom. That is his freedom by force. Do you understand? You must obey Supreme Court order. He's dragging his freedom by force. The same thing IPOB is standing on. Are you understanding? Now, that is what the lawyer is saying. That that place is, safe, is not safe for their client to prepare for trial. That is, the government will get their discussion and plan against it. Is that not what the DOS said? That the government is getting your discussion and they are using it against IPOB. And it is affecting them. That you should stop taking such things today. Then, oh, Emmanuel Kano, stop taking such things today. These people are using it against us. And they are using it against our leader too. And they continued. They use it as a blackmail. Today, it is a, you, you saw it's affecting the case. How do you know the damages it has caused IPOB? If we are not smart, you would have... The, okay, today you are discuss, discovering after three years. So had we been following you up without discovering and the secure IPOB, this is how we will all end in the same point. Had the leadership not captured the, the game earlier, now was Ejimako, all of them are surrendering and say, we are not comfortable, they should give us a safe room. The same time, Kauno Chokwaka IPOB, Bido Kawinyo, safe room for where? Instead of them to give you safe room, they better free Namdekano to go. What is he doing in DSS? He's there to get, they want to get, the even when he leaves DSS, they still use what happened there to fight against IPOB. Are you not aware? They, want to, they never get anything to fight IPOB. All the people that are arrested, IPOB members, there is no fact. The only thing, the only chance, opportunity they have is now Namdekano is in detention. They have gotten some things through those that are visiting him. If not, there is no secret. They, they, have, they have infiltrated IPOB. They didn't get anything. All the infiltrator did not get secret of IPOB. The few discussion they got, which is not the secret of IPOB, but they can still use it positively, are the things, the siblings, and the lawyers brought to Kano, thinking it is to favor them on their job or in their whatever they are demanding from Kano. But the implications, it's <laughs> defective on IPOB as an organization and then American is what IPOB leadership saw. They started shouting. You said they are attacking lawyers. They are attacking siblings. Had we allowed them and followed them? Now we have a team book. Are you understanding? Are you understanding? So that is it. If you are here, this is our homeland radio Biafra. Adi Amakwama. I know Kweba and Apia and Diro Tale. The enemy is in a big way break age them. Mbia Hala Life has said, Oh, we should have been quaint, you man. Ega and Weba here, no, Kweba and Bali, you can wake. You can age it down on our wagon. It is foolish. Do you understand? Ega, you will hand them, Joe. No, but that.
a kwecha ridi tacha heli le nuru e mo reso mege me go da avoid one day then me che zindi ro mbe ha bia e ma na ha tara ahu ne nwe ne nwe tege awe bi me ya very easy you know how much nigeria spent to get can eh na eh so at least awe no ka tan no inwe te ma duko ke mba na o ta ka na ese me at least your name me wo no ge me nwo but how far again we in a we way you will get me increase i'll be broadcasting every day now back in now anybody come the treat my turn yeah guy come on we're gonna know now i'm getting on i'm gonna attack when you bring it out who not useless in high name here we don't do propaganda adam makwama we don't blackmail if you see me talking about it be my lemma you know no no mshirike Tuto again, I know what is. I'm a mere criminality. I know what is impersonation. I know when somebody impersonated my business. I know when you impersonated my organization. Very simple. Impersonation is criminality. <laughs> so if you commit it, ma boge ebiri ma semenon ne uho ebiri. Claiming to be in charge of IPB, my how serious impersonation. Ima na wole government, ima na umuti ni. Overthrowing government in my home. Treason, serious one. Madam Mayor, it was a very man. The other side on IPOB, that's it. I will not call him a very man. I will call him get out from my face in my hand. I call it, but it's a very man. I'm a meaning. Allow us, Madam, the meaning of it. My crime or committee to call it and analyze it. It was a so somebody manipulated you to call him a very man. Ah, 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 Claim to be in charge of IPB. Claim to be in charge of ESN. We don't have ESN bo madu. We don't have IPB bo madu. But can you not hold? Do you understand? Let me sip some water, please. Ima kona ngobe de me. Hi. Cow the seed, cow can always bomb me the whole hair. A very man won't know she. If you want to have beer receipt, my business name beer receipt, you will not have his raise. You will, you will, you be like, yeah, they carry with our company. Will I not get an under my ego? A man me away, very man. I don't know. Mam, a boss I have a line where I am gonna have a dunga, a rich guy, a real guy. I've been about me going to shop. I'm on what is it? Billy, my mate, my own hand. I'm here. Oh, no, she. It's a day we have a key. I was there in K. O. B. T. Thank you. Oh, honey, no, oh, he or oh, he, oh, he. So that is where I'll be bringing this program to an end. From me, fearless IPOB evangelist, Mazen Madap Chimachuku. I'm from here, our homeland radio, Biafra Studio. That's in a studio in Canonel. Oh, now lay back on. It is. What says the time? Good afternoon. Thank you. Share it to. I hope you won't walk on that. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was also cost one bit. That's when I told you that it will go to not cost one bit. I'm so mad. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. 